what is a RBT or registered behavior technician? As an RBT, you will be working in the field of applied behavior analysis, also known as ABA. Behavior analysis is a scientific approach that discovers environmental variables that influence socially significant behaviors. ABA aims to produce behavior change that is both practical and applicable to our clients. So essentially by decreasing maladaptive behaviors such as biting, tantruming, self-injurious behaviors, hitting, so on and so forth, ABA therapy aims to improve the everyday life of our clients as well as their families and caregivers. Hello everyone, my name is Anna Turi and I was once a registered behavior technician myself. I am now geared towards getting people just like you trained, certified, and entering our field the right, correct way. So when I was a RBT, I personally worked primarily with children that had either autism or ADHD. Um, when you're entering this field, that is primarily the population that we work with. So one of the things that's really cool about behavior analysis is that behavior is everywhere. So there are a few different settings that we could find ourselves working in. For example, you may find yourself in a school setting, so literally going to school with the client, spending the day with them. You may find yourself going to the client's home directly, so driving to your client's home and spending time at home with them. You may also, of course, find yourself out in the community because not everything just happens in school or at home. You could also find yourself in after school programs or even in daycares my personal favorite and of course last but not least you can also find yourself in ABA clinics where you go to work every day essentially at a clinic and the kiddos come to you to receive therapy. So as an RBT you have a super super important job. You are the one that is directly working with the client. You are spending the most time with the client not the BCBA which is the board certified behavior analyst or the BCABA, which is the Board Certified Assistant Behavior Analyst, it's you. You are the one that is directly implementing interventions that have been written for your specific client by the BCBA. So you have the hands-on work working with the client. So let's say that you have a client named Billy and Billy engages in self-injurious behavior. It is going to be up to you to use the interventions given to you by the BCBA to get that behavior to decrease. The self-injurious behavior is not only affecting Billy himself, but it is also affecting, you know, his loved ones, his families and his caregivers. So you can imagine how important a job this is to have, to take on. You're responsible for trying to get this behavior to decrease. So basically what I'm trying to say that this job is not to be taken lightly. This is a very serious job. You could be the one to get Billy's self-injurious behavior to decrease or completely stop. So do you have what it takes? Well, I can't really tell you that, but you could try to figure it out yourself by asking yourself these two questions. Number one, are you comfortable working with children that have been diagnosed with different developmental disabilities? I personally, before entering the field, had spent time with children diagnosed with different um, developmental disabilities through Best Buddies, through uh, church programs, so on and so forth. So I knew already that I was comfortable with them. I loved them. Um, they seemed to love me too, which is awesome. And so it was definitely something I wanted to do. This doesn't necessarily mean that if you don't have any experience with them, that you are not good for the job. And it's just important that you know that you're going to be working with them and helping improve their lives. Second question. This is a very important question to ask yourself. Do you have patience? If there is one thing this job requires, it is patience. It is not an easy job. Um, it's Although it's still very fun, you get to work with little kiddos, they're the cutest things ever. Um, it's not an easy job. So yes, be expected to possibly get punched or slapped or kicked, uh, loud screams. Um, tantruming. This is part of the job. So if this is something that you don't see yourself doing well in, something that you um, just aren't comfortable with, then this probably isn't the job for you. But there is good news because at the end of the day, when you go through all of 
these tantrums and kicks and loud screams, the best part of the job is that you get to see the behaviors decrease and you get to know that you were the person that made this happen for that client. If you answered yes to both of these questions, I would say that you are a fabulous fit for the job and we need more people like you to get into the field because this field is in high demand right now. Autism is on the rise and we need not just any therapist, but we need really passionate and excited therapists to join our field. Um, and help make a difference in the lives of these kiddos. If you are interested in becoming an RBT certified, you are in luck, I am your gal. The requirements are pretty simple. You need to be at least 18 years old. You have to have a, a high school diploma or GED equivalent, and you have to have no criminal history. Um, as long as you have those three things, you are eligible to get certified. And you may get certified through, if I may say so myself, the best RBT course out there, ABA source. Regardless of where you live, anywhere in the States, our program is 100% online. So not only do we offer you the basic requirements you need to get certified, but on top of that, we offer a training for our RBTs, a live training with a board certified behavior analyst that 99% of other courses do not offer. We give you plenty of study materials to help you pass your RBT exam. And we give you toys and toy totes and goodies and things like that to make sure that you go into your first day ready to be your kiddo's favorite therapist. It's more than just a course for us. We really want to make sure that we're providing really effective training and shaping really confident RBTs because when we do that, you guys feel good, you guys are knowledgeable, and then you go out into the field and you're able to make a difference. So that's why we do what we do and we take our job very seriously. Um, if you're interested, the link is down below. If there's a wait list, just wait on us. We try to get as many trained, passionate RBTs out into the field as possible. And unlike other courses, we are with you every single step of the way. I mean, if you have any questions whatsoever, we're there to basically hold your hand through this journey. Um, we don't just wanna leave you out in the dust to figure it out and get it done on your own because that could take you literally months to do by yourself. So we're here to make sure that you are not alone and we are a part of this with you. If you guys have any questions at all about the job in general, about our program, um, about the field, please go ahead and comment down below and I will try to get back to as many of you as I possibly can. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you next time. Bye. Also, follow us on Instagram, aba underscore source, to join the RBT community, make jokes with us, memes with us, learn and stay on top of everything RBT. Bye!